Well, the bucket philosophy that I explain in that children's book is that everyone has an invisible bucket. Now, okay. it's not my concept because it's been around for since the 60s with Donald Clifton, but I believe I'm the first one to take it to children because it helps them understand life and it helps all of us understand life. Okay, so how does it, how do you interpret a bucket in terms of, you know, I see them here, I see one that's empty and one that's full. Yes. See, if you, if I could see your invisible bucket, which you have, I would imagine that your bucket would be very full. When your bucket is full, that means you're happy, you're excited about life, you like yourself, you like your family. That is the way I would like everyone's bucket to be. Oh. But when your bucket is empty, like this bucket over there, uh -huh. you are not having a good day, you are not, and, and you're really sad, lonely, angry, all of those negative things. So the bucket is a wonderful tangible way to imagine your mental and emotional health and the dipper has to do with people either adding or taking away from our buckets and you know I love the message in the book as we talk about these buckets because when I was reading it I was amazed at how much we can do to fill people's buckets and what we can do to take away Yes, I mean it's endless. One school that I and I've been to many schools. One school did it from A to Z. From A to Z, you can fill buckets. Ask your mom if you can help her. Be a good friend. Cheer someone up. There are many ways to fill buckets. And every time you do something nice for someone, you are actually putting one more heart or star, meaning happy thoughts and feelings, in someone else's 